Hey everybody, welcome back fellow comic book aficionados as we delve into another underrated key and this one will be coming from the Copper Age and I haven't done one of these in a while but getting back into it a little bit and what we have here is Superman number 62 and this is the very tail end of the Copper Age because this came out in December of 1991 and I know they, they end the Copper Age some people end the Copper Age with the onset of the Jim Lee X-Men X-Men number one when he started doing that series but still to you know to December 91 Copper Age very end of it and there's really nothing significant about this story per se this is it says blackout part four and it's blackout because Superman has memory loss and that's why he's on this island and here you have a native girl fighting with uh, fighting with Lois Lane here because she's trying to take her man because of course Superman doesn't know who Lois Lane is right now the the native girl was a better choice by the way not a big fan of Lois Lane but you know what are you gonna do so again nothing really actually very significant about this particular story in of itself however the comic holds a secret and we'll just flip through this a little bit here as we get to the big secret and why this is a key comic book big time and it flies right under the radar this is a uh, this is a comic that you will very often find in the bins because people figure, eh, you know, 90s Superman, if it's not something to do with Doomsday, who gives a crap? Basically, is the attitude about Superman as we continue to flip through. But you see, there's a surprise in here. Right there. There are actually two comics because this is Sonic the Hedgehog number one in the middle of Superman 62 there you have Sonic the Hedgehog and it is a full comic book there's like 17 pages this is Sonic the Hedgehog's first appearance in comic books predates anything from Archie or anything else that was done this is the first comic and again I think it's about 17 pages 17 pages long attached right to the center of this book so yeah again people look at it you find this in the dollar bin or whatever because people are like ah Superman again 90's Superman and it's not Doomsday or Bloodsport who cares you know just another Superman story not this one And for those of you who are into early video game adaptations, I mean, I'm sure many of you know how much the Nintendo ones go for. The Mario Brothers number one and stuff like that. It's crazy how much. And that's the last page right there. And then it goes back into the Superman story here. I don't know if you can see all of that well. I've got it at kind of an angle. Just want to make sure it's my lovely wife behind the camera there. See, much better choice than Lois. <laughs> there she is, struggling. I don't know, anytime Superman ends up with, uh... Oh, Great Eastern Conventions ad! I talk about this all the time because I used to work with them in Boston in the early 90s. And they're, they don't exist anymore. But yeah, it's just kind of funny to run into the ad in there for the uh, for the comic shows when autographs were free. But that is my Copper Age, very, very late Copper Age key recommendation. Because again, I'll go ahead and flip through the rest of this book, which had, what, a dollar cover price? Prices changed very frequently in the 90s. You know, it used to be years between the change. Oh, look, he's got his memory back. Poor sucker. <laughs> poor, poor sap. 
and you can find this by itself because I think Sega distributed if I get back to the first page here distributed this separately but after the fact so inside of Superman 62 is the actual official first appearance even though it's considered an advertisement it's a full-on comic book with no ads in between produced by Sega to promote Sonic the Hedgehog who is you know legendary in video games Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario Brothers and Pac-Man certain mascots like that really stand out and again this is one you might find in the bins even though you know, if you were to find a really solid copy and get it graded, you might get a few bucks for it. For those who are in the know about this book, but otherwise you would look at this and you'd be like, you'd pass this up. You wouldn't know any better. Anyway, thoughts? Do you like that recommendation? It's a nice Game Boy ad on the back, too. <laughs> <laughs> those were the days, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon. Oh.